Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Real Island Boy, on Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram, all at the same time. Anyway, how y'all doing? Hope y'all are out there keeping warm. I don't know what's going on with this weather. I'm like, so it's been warm for the last two days, past two days, a nice warm, you know, it's winter, and we've been dying full of the warmth. So all of a sudden, guess what? I said, we're going to get snow tonight. Snow. Like, what the hell is going on with this weather? Can't you just stay one t <sighs> So while it snows out there, I'm going to keep on sipping on my cocktail. I'm drinking on some um some little concussion. I'm mixed up. I can't tell you what's, what's in it, but... Just make sure y'all have your cocktail watching this recap tonight because... Little Woman Atlanta was back tonight. <laughs> it was too much not come for me. So, on tonight's episode, um, Miss Juicy invited Minnie out for shopping, you know, the usual, let's go shopping, let's go have a drink, let's go dinner, you know, the whole thing they always do every time on these shows. So, while she was out shopping with Minnie, she told Minnie that, girl, my mom and sister's coming in town and I want them to meet the girls. You know, Minnie got her guards up and she had some reservation because remember, last season, Minnie's mom threw french fries and wings at Miss Juicy Baby. So, she feels in a way that if probably she meets um, Juicy Mom and, and Sister, that um, probably her mom would do the same thing and probably have a fight with her. But I think, you know, I don't think Juicy Mom is ratchet just like um, um, Minnie's mom. So, I don't think that's going to happen. Anyway, so well, let's see how that plays out eventually. I'll tell y'all about that later on in the episode. Anyway, make sure y'all are keeping your lips moisturizing, your face moisturized because it's cold out there. You can't walk around with no ashy lips and no dry ass face. Let me all know what kind of lip balm y'all use. I'll use the Blistet lip balm. This is my fave. I don't go nowhere without my, my, uh, my Blistet lip balm. I love me some Blistex. Anyway, um. Oh. Leave y'all comments in the section. Let me know what y'all favorite lip balm is. Okay. Anyway, so as I was saying before, um, Minnie had some reservations, and she told her mom. You know, her mom is staying with her temporarily, and um, she told her mom that, hey, you know, Minnie, I'm um, Juicy Mom is coming in town, and and her sister, and we're gonna have a little dinner meet and greet, and you know what y'all thought, AKA. She trying to hear her mom give her a tip and advice about if Juicy Mom is gonna pop off when she goes when she actually meets Minnie for the first time. But actually, I don't think I don't think that's gonna go down. Anyway, um, her mom, Minnie's mom, eventually said, you know, if anything pops off, you know, I'm gonna phone call away, keep me on speed dial because I'll come running. We know you will, cause you're ratchet. Anyway, um. Also, the last episode, um, the, the Tiny Twins, Amanda and Andrea, I don't know them separately, so I just call them the Tiny Twins, because they look alike, and I can't tell them separately. Anyway, um, they had a whole brawl last week, the sisters are arguing, they cussed one of the sisters who has the baby with Chris, the one who run out back to Dallas, yes, um, hang up on the mother on the phone, because she was mad, so... Um, she sent her sister roses, pink roses, like four bouquets of it. It was really, really nice that she did that. Because, you know, she know that she was damn wrong for snapping at her sister and her mother like the way she did. But yes, again, I understand she was upset. She's going through ish right now. The damn baby dead, sorry. The damn deadbeat baby daddy Chris that gave her two damn, sorry, not gave her, but had two babies with her, left her for, for to go back to Dallas to work or Texas, wherever he went to, like... Are you just dumb and and dumb or you're just a deadbeat dad and dumb? I think you're both. Because how you leave somebody with, you know, one of the babies is currently living with the mom in came where the mom live at and the other one you just had four months ago and you left your girlfriend, whatever she is to you, with to to, to handle a newborn baby by herself with no help. Thank God her sister and her, and her sister's boyfriend is there to help her. But anyway, she went by her sister's house to go check up with her, and she was so happy that they can resolve the problem. They cried, they laughed. She thanked God. She thanked her for the flower, which was a very nice gesture. Just, just her. Sorry, 
you know, somehow I have heavy tongue, somehow I just call some words in funny ways. Anyway, she was very nice that the sister sent her flowers. They they had some sisterly bonding moment, and also um, she told us that she's gonna finally go to therapy to you know to you know seek help about dealing with the breakup and you know moving on and all that good stuff. It's always good, but let me just go back to the therapist that she went to. Is everybody in Atlanta going to the same person on these shows? The same lawyer, the same divorce attorney, the same damn um therapist. I'm like. I know Atlanta is Atlanta, but I'm like, you're sure, there, I'm sure there are other people are in and around Atlanta that y'all can go to. Damn, the same doctors that's on here tonight counseling um, one of the tiny twins, the same doctor that did um, the Family of Braxton Values um, therapy session too, I guess. Anyway, the sister went to therapy. She told her to spoke to the therapist. The therapist seemed that she's going to help her get over some stuff that she's going through with um, the sister, her past relationship, and also her parents, her, her parents, her mom and her father, who's taking care of her other child, which is, I think, two years old. Can't remember how old is the baby, is her son. Anyway, my girl, money, you know, I love you, money, you know, monetize and all that good stuff, but money lost her damn ring. Not her, but she not got married, she not married to her engagement ring that Marlon bought for her. And I'm like, is his name Marlon or Marlon? Anyway. She lost the ring. She's over there digging up the apartment with um Miss Juicy. <laughs> they searching in the damn sink. They searching on um and under um in the in the face basin. They searching in the um the sofa. This is everywhere. I'm like, money. Where the hell you did with this? What? Where the hell you lost this ring at? Were you some? Were you drunk? Were you hanging out with them Atlanta um little little women and and, and turning up too much and you lost this damn ring? I'm like, a ring normally comes size for your for your finger. Normally fits your finger a nice size, and it fits your finger. And some most time you need to take a ring off. You gotta take it off with lotion or like with a little bit of water or something. I don't know how she lost that ring, but she she lost the ring. And Marlon, when Marlon came up, you know Marlon's a truck driver. I think he drives for a couple of days and then come home. And when he came home, you know she you know asked me to make him a drink. Of course, you know we like our drinks. So he's there sipping his cocktail and chilling and stuff when money get getting prepared to give him the bad news. Anyway, you go give people bad news. You get the fake tears coming on. It could be real. Tears coming on, giving the boo-boo face. <laughs> and pulling up your not pull up your, you know, your <laughs> pulling up your nose, giving the the whole <laughs> face, boo-boo face, and you know, the crying face, and next thing you know. She told Marlon that she lost the engagement ring. Marlon was not happy at all. Marlon stormed out of there. Marlon was like, "How could you lose that ring? You know, when I pick that ring up for you, I pick it up for you with the with the um with the thought that you know whenever you wear that ring, you see it on your finger, you know that I love you and blah blah blah." Marlon stormed out, say, "I'm gonna be back. I don't know probably when, but I'm gonna get me a drink. I need some time." Money is crying. You know, before that, before we saw the scene with Marlon and her, you know, talking about the ring, she went with Minnie, who Minnie and Marlon went to pick the ring out because, you know, she thought, um, sorry, Marlon thought Minnie would know what she liked as far as her ring. So Minnie and, and Money went to go look back at the jewelry store to find out if she had insurance on the ring. No insurance, and the ring cost like $3,500. I'm like, first of all, who buys an engagement ring and don't get insurance? I'm like, you're buying some kind of jewelry of that kind of magnitude engagement or wedding ring you need to get insurance on it sorry i'm not sure i'm not if you have insurance on the damn ring because stuff, stuff, stuff like this that happened would have been nice a nice little insurance claim that would be made ring would have been replaced and then minimum um, you know money would be happy and marlon would eventually now marlon is mad marlon stormed out i don't know what's gonna go on but anyway moving along from all of that fiasco um The dinner party now. They're all at the dinner party. Everybody showed up. Um, you know, Tanya. Um, but before Tanya showed up, you know, Tanya and Sam lives in the same, well, share the same apartment, house, whatever. And Sam was, Sam came down to help Tanya with her babies. But now the babies are in, um, Maryland or I think DC with their, with one of the, one of the fathers. And, um, 
Sam is supposed to be like the nanny slash caretaker when she's the one who, you know, looking after the business and stuff. She goes, she's so busy. Then, you know, Sam is there to help her. But tonight we was introduced to um, Tanya's brother, this tall, cute Amazon dude, tall, like he's at least, at least six feet tall, while Tanya's like four feet tall and cute, I must add. And he said he'd be staying there for a while because he's going through problems with his baby mother or, sorry, wife, they said. But I'm like, kind of like, what's going to happen when the kids come back, Tanya? You're going to put Samantha out or Sam, whatever she called herself out? I don't know. We'll see how that plays out. But Sam is not on her pins and needles because she's like, what am I going to do when the kids come back? Am I going to go get my own place? Hopefully not. We'll see how that part works out anyway. But Tanya's brother was cute. Anyway, so the girls decided, you know, after um all this, we're gonna meet up with um um Miss Juicy Baby's um Miss Juicy's Miss Juicy Baby, her mom and her sister. They get to this nice fancy restaurant. Everybody's looking cute in their dress. Twins, you no know, Tanya, Sam, Minnie, with, 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 you know, with a one eye out on you know Juicy Mom. And you know, money. Everybody showed up and showed up and looked cute in their nice little dinner outfit. So they got to the table, the parents arrive and introduce themselves and everybody start breaking the ice by, you know, asking a little bit of question about how was um, Juicy as a baby, you know, all that stuff, getting a little laughter going. Next thing you know, one of the tiny twins go say to Juicy Mom, oh, um, do you like um, that Juicy's going to be doing a sex show? And Juicy Mom was like, huh? Oh my God, Juicy mouth fell to her damn gut when she heard the tiny twins brawl out that she's going to do a talk sex show. I guess her mom is a bit conservative. I don't know, but our old school, I guess they don't like the child talking about sex or whatever. But I think Juicy's like grown. I don't know how, how old Juicy is, but Juicy's grown. So I'm not sure where the mom is being so harsh on the child if you want to talk about sex or a sex show. Like she does, she's trying to do what's best for her career. Like, come on now, like get over it. So the mom excused herself from the table because she was mad that um, Juicy didn't even tell her that she was doing a sex show. And the other girls had to tell her during a, a table conversation. So, Juicy's mad, the sister is mad, the mom is mad, everybody's mad. That, I guess, dinner didn't go, you know, well as planned. Oh, well. So, the girls now were, you know, trying to regroup and they're trying to go to like a carnival or a fair, whatever you call it. Like, to me, it's like a mini six flag. So, the girls all arrive at the park or the fair or the carnival, but everybody except Money. You know, Money's over there dealing with Marlon and the Lost Ring. So, she didn't show up at the, at the fair. Everybody should show up. They're having fun time. They're playing games. They're playing, you know, eating popcorn, cotton candy. They're eating corn dog, all that good stuff. They're riding a ride, having a good time. So, after the last ride tonight on the episode, Tanya and Sam sat it out. So I'm like, okay, probably they're just exhausted and want to go on a, on a ride, right? So I'm like, while they're there doing the ride and stuff, you know, everybody having the fun of, and, you know, on the ride, Tanya said, I got something to tell you and why I've been acting so funny towards you recently. It's because um, I'm pregnant. Lord Jesus Christ, I was about to say that she was going to tell Sam she got to move out. But she still said that she, she still said that she's two months pregnant. I'm like, I'm saying that like, who's for who for who for? I'm like, oh, the ex boyfriend that came in town for that cute little one little weekend that he came for. I guess he banged her up. I'm like, I'm not think, talking anything bad, but I'm like, girl, the boy was in town for a couple of days to check out Atlanta, and you had to give him the punani that he had to give you a baby. Now you're gonna be pregnant. I'm like, these girls are these little people shows. Are too damn fertile. Little people in LA, New York, Dallas, they Atlanta, they all be having babies all the same time. I'm like, they keep on having a baby. I'm like, they're very first over there on, 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 you know, on these shows. Everybody be pregnant. So now Tana is two months pregnant. So I don't know how that gonna work out. She told Sam, don't say shit to other girls because I want it to be when I'm ready to tell them, I'll tell them myself. Hopefully, she'll do that soon. But on the next episode, we're going to see she telling the baby daddy, which is the one of the fathers of one of our child right now, that she's pregnant. He didn't take it so likely, so we'll see how that plays out. And also, all of a sudden, they're going camping. I'm like, what's going on with all these shows? ATL Housewives going camping. Now, Little Women people, I'm, I'm a fan to going camping. I'm like, what's up with these old people going camping all, uh, you know, on all these shows? Anyway, Little Woman Atlanta comes on Lifetime Wednesday nights. Make sure you check your local listings. 
I'm going to take my drinks and keep warm out here. Y'all be safe out there. And don't forget to follow me on social media. Real Island Boy. Bye.